Hello all my grown and sexy friends. Today I decided to go ahead and work on my hydroponic unit. Okay, so I just dumped everything out. I'm going to actually clean out the unit real good. I'm going to sit it up and let it dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my water. And I use purified distilled water. And then I'll add my... Uh, my plants in there and the fertilizer and everything else that I need in there okay so let's go ahead and get started okay so basically what I do is I clean up the whole unit okay so I'm going to use some warm water I don't usually use soap or anything so because I don't I'm going to go ahead and get something that's a little more natural Okay, so basically I'm going to use some pure Castile. Castile is really good, and I love it. So, put a little bit in there. Cut that off, and let's go ahead and rinse this out. It's good for the earth, and so I don't have to worry about it. I use this Dr. Bonner's um, Castile to also do my my hair products and skin products that I need to have a little bit of you know a little foam a little suds that's what I use okay so let's pour that out let's pour it out Okay, I'll let it sit for a second with the Dr. Bonner's, just for a second. Now, like maybe three to five seconds. And then I rinse it out with good hot water. Okay. Inside and out, try to get that filter good and clean. Okay. inside of it okay this is the water window you fill it up to the max and then as it goes down usually it's about halfway when it's time to go ahead and add more you know plant food fertilizer and then if it gets below minimum you know you need to add water okay and here is the filter I'm sorry let's see this is the filter it's a air rock down here it's a little air rock okay and then the the tubing for that is right here so this is this makes your air filter okay and then you fill this up with water again because it is hydroponics this is the top to it okay so the top just sits on there and you have six holes in which you can put your your pods and these are my pods okay these are my pods and when you need to add water you pop this little top open boom you pour the water right down in there okay so we're gonna let this sit up for a little bit and dry up okay okay everyone so it's dried out a little bit and um, the one that I have is called the Arrow Garden, okay? I got the Arrow Garden kit from Amazon. I'm not sure how much it is right now, but it was under $100, and it's the six-pod set, okay? And so I usually buy my seeds uh, six, nine, twelve at a time. This particular set that I have, okay, let me go ahead and put the water in here. So, I, again, I use distilled water okay and I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill this up to the max line so that's the half of a jug that I had left and I'm going to pop over another one pop open another one 
and try to go ahead and fill this up to the max. Okay. So that's just right below the max line because I got it sitting on the sink like this. You put the top on it. Okay. And it's not that heavy, so it takes about almost a gallon of water, not quite a gallon, okay? Now, this is sage. I think I'm going to put the sage right there. Okay. That's the sage. This is thyme. And I'm just holding it in there so the pod can get wet. So the little dirt pod in there gets wet, okay? It says these usually sprout in 7 to 14 days. But we will see. This is Italian parsley that I'm putting in the very front. Okay. I just like to hold it down for a second, let that let it go ahead and get into that water. Okay? Let that water start soaking up. And this is rosemary in the very, very front. So let's see, maybe I should move this one here and this one here. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to sit it like this because um, the thyme doesn't grow as wild as the Italian parsley and the sage. So I put the Italian parsley here and the sage here. The sage can grow out that way, the parsley out this way. The rosemary has its own little space. And then maybe I should put the thyme here on this corner because it, it does have long, long leaves, but they usually fall over the edge a little bit. So maybe this way is a little better. Give this a little room. So I do have a couple of the little pod covers. Okay, so you cover it up. And that, it makes it like a little, it's a dome, so it makes it like a little, okay, hold on. I think this one is torn up. Let me see, can I find another one? Okay, let's see. That's not going to work. I stick one of the domes in there just to make sure. So there we go. And then I'll stick a dome there to cover up those holes. I don't have any anything else to keep those holes covered. And again, makes it like a little geranium a little bit, I guess. You cover them up to keep all the moisture in, okay? And again, this is the Scarborough Fair Garden, and it has rosemary, thyme, Italian parsley, and sage. I covered up the water holes just because I don't like them to, you know, to be uh, sucking up the water and the, the water dissipate and then I have to add more water more quickly than normal. Okay. So we're going to take this over here and plug it up. And it just slides right down in there. It pops in there right nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this up. OK. 
Okay. So as you can see, everything's in there. And then all we have to do is, okay, see? The water, and then all we have to do is set it, okay? So we're gonna hit reset. All right, so it's set for the herb garden, okay? So now I'm going to put two capfuls of the liquid fertilizer in there. It's the liquid plant food, okay, for the arrow garden. I'm going to put two capfuls of this in there, all right? Okay, so let's see if we can see down in there. Okay, lift it a little. All right, so that's bubbling up because of the, the air stone down there so that the water can get air, okay? So... Okay, that's my little troll that I have watching my garden, okay? There's a little paper that tells me about my seed pod kit. You see all of my pods? This is actually the light that you see here. This is the, it's supposed to be like sunlight, okay? That's your water gauge, okay? And this tells you what you have in here. And how long? It's usually, I think, like 17 hours. I think it's 17 hours for herbs. That's how long your sunlight stays on it. I'm going to set it for 24. Okay. I set it for 24. This, I'm sorry, this says add plant food. That pops up green, right? But in two weeks, it will be red, letting me know that it's time to add plant food, okay? And check the water levels and put fresh water in if I need. But I'm leaving it on for 24 hours because when I get up in the morning, I'll get up like 6 in the morning, and I will set the light. This way, my light will be on for 17 hours, okay? And it'll go off at night sometime. I like it that way, but you can set it any way you want. You can set it at night to come on and shine all night, or you can have it shine all day. It's up to you how you want it. But I love the Arrow Garden. I think it's an amazing, amazing little thing here. I also have a little hydroponic plant sitting there, okay? That one I put in a five gallon bucket, okay? And it is also hydroponic. It has rosemary in it, okay? You can see down in there, there's an air rock in there, and there's fertilizer in there, and the trash down in the bottom is just the air rocks that fell through. These little air rocks there, those little aerating rocks, okay? The white stuff on there is not mold. It's just the, the salty condensation coming up bouncing on the rocks and then sometimes you need to change those out and I'm getting ready to do that in a couple of days or so. So I just wanted to show you guys my little setup here. I love it. I usually have six herbs in there and then once I once I let them grow I go ahead and I dehydrate the herbs to dry them out and then I put them in little containers and that's how we use our fresh dried herbs. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
Please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And don't forget to make some comments. If I left out any information about the hydroponic garden that you would like to know, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll go ahead and answer it personally, okay? I really appreciate you guys coming and, and watching me today. And I'll see you soon. Hello, all my grown and sexy friends. I'm getting ready to check the hydroponics, okay? So let's go ahead and flip this around. And okay, these are the ones that I planted. This is the time. This is five days later. Can you see the time there? Okay. This is rosemary. Okay. This is sage. Okay. And this one's Italian parsley. I don't see nothing in there quite yet. Maybe it still hasn't grown. Of course, sometimes they don't grow the way they're supposed to. And again, it's on herbs. And when you see this button here turn red, that means you got to add some more fertilizer and reset it. We'll take another peek at it in about a week, okay? Thanks. Hello, all my grown and sexy friends. This is almost the end of the second week, so I'm going to show you what the hydroponics are looking like now. It's not been quite 10 days, or maybe it's been right about 10 days, okay? So basically, every 14 days, you have to change the... Over here, it shows you got to add plant food, so you, you don't change anything. I'm sorry, just... Show it blinks red to show you you gotta change <clears throat> excuse me you gotta change the um plant food or add more plant food okay that was the time there this is the sage look how tall that sage is looking this is the Italian parsley growing down in there I think there's a little bitty piece of green and this is the rosemary here okay so they're growing pretty good we'll take another look at them in a week or two